lax and lime. That is a combination for a cure. ABC 2 News' Eric Nielsen takes us to Perryville High School where tonight lacrosse teammates are trying to shut out Lyme disease. A charity lacrosse game and lime eating challenge. You couldn't do it. <laughs> it's one sour way to raise money. You want to do the lime challenge? Yeah. For the people in this community, Lyme disease has affected more than a few. Brandon Vaughn currently has the disease. Um, for me, my main thing has been difficulty breathing. Um, I've been in a wheelchair. I've been able to walk. I've been sick for a whole year since uh, March of last year. Eight year old Jack Kalenda was diagnosed in 2010. Wasn't feeling well and had some uncomfortable uncom pains in his chest. Like many kids, Jack liked to fish, hunt, ride a four-wheeler, and it could have been any of these where Jack was bitten by a tick and contracted the disease. He did pass, test positive for Lyme's disease and um, immediately got some medical treatment and wasn't soon enough. Brought Jack home and he passed at home. Jack's brother Rodney, who plays lacrosse for Perryville, says to focus on the good memories. He was a good lacrosse player, I'll tell you that. Uh, I mean, he had the heart for the sport. He uh, played 110 percent. And there is no doubt that Jack was with his brother today on the field. Yeah, I'm sure he's with us. I'm sure he's with the lacrosse team every day. No doubt in my mind he isn't. So this community is fighting back, sporting their green shirts and taking a bite out of Lyme disease, raising money and awareness to this life-threatening illness. Get in there! In Perryville, Eric Nielsen, ABC2 News.